Hey, what's going on YouTube? I've been meaning to do this review on a car. It's a 2014 Lexus LS460. It's uh, the newer body style. It came out in 2013 actually. I had a 2010 before and it's got the similar features. That 4.6 liter, that 8 speed. It's really neat. So I did change out the wheels on this. I do have a different window tint. It's a 5% all around and the front windshield's 20%. I do enjoy my privacy. But um, it's really neat, this new 2014 from 13 and above. The aesthetics are really, really nice. The body shape, the lines, the front, whole front of the car. The, the car itself, it's really, really well built. Uh, the LS, I mean, they're $85,000, $90,000 starting price. This one is an entry-level model. It does not have any of the fancier things like the suspension or the all-wheel drive or the long wheelbase. But it checks in all the boxes, you know, almost 400 horsepower. It's... Uh, super safe and it just looks really nice overall no complaints just want to give you guys a quick rundown of what you can expect when you have a car like this or you know the ideal person to drive something like so it's a great commuter the ride quality is fantastic the mark levingson sound system i'll tell you what it's one of the better ones in the market that you can get uh, because of the clarity and the bass some companies give you really good bass the quality is not there and vice versa but this is pretty neat it does have a little feature here so it's a full-size sedan it gives you a <laughs> it's, it's neat it gets me every single time i would have thought on a sedan it's full power you know it's pretty neat it's got a full-size spare down there it's got that so you can pull that and uh if you want to put golf clubs or anything like so right down there as well so we can close that by just clicking here that it gets me every single time guys i'm sorry <laughs> the dual exhaust is really nice and i usually i like to personalize my cars so this one does have a remote start aftermarket but it does uh, it works as if it was from the factory so you have an actual application itself um let me go ahead and click on the actual car my address is on there so there it is so you can actually click it and it starts it up for you now i'm not advertising for the company but the nice features that when you have a car like this you you, you want to make it uh, yours as much as possible you know if, if that makes sense so the wheels are different i recently picked those up as well again i like my privacy so the window tint is a must the side mirrors they automatically fold in and it's got those puddle lights when you come up close right now it notices that the key's close to the car itself proximity key and it's got smart key all around the car itself so you can click that little button it locks locks Put your hand inside it unlocks for you power folding mirrors are really nice this one does have the blind spot monitor i tell you what guys it's hard to buy another car without blind spot it really is it's it's really nice when you have it and it comes with the rear cross traffic that's pretty neat so you guys might want to google what the rear cross traffic alert is but it's got all its button memory seats on the driver's side that's for your seatbelt to move it up down it's crazy right there it is the fit and finish on these cars is insane man i mean it definitely is a luxury you know the statement car the flagship car that toyota has let me go ahead and have a seat or not toyota pardon lexus <laughs> this is truly a steal of a price or a car for what it is i mean the reliability on these it's it's insane the, the powertrain that it has I mean this is tons of miles this is two three four hundred thousand miles whatever you want to say but I mean I picked this up for a little over twenty thousand dollars guys uh, you can finance this it looks great and it's a statement car really let's go see show you guys here auto folding feature heated steering wheel pretty neat the blind spot the parking sensors itself it's got sensors in front of the car in case you're close to hitting something kind of it's there for you in case you wanted to clean the front headlights trip settings every single little settings right up here on the car itself display yeah it's it's neat for a 2014 i mean it gives you that space that you'd like the buttons the features it makes you feel really nice different uh, driving settings that just changes the transmission really the shifting points it's got the ventilated seats the heated seats the power sunshade which is kind of cool 
so don't really use it because the car is it's really dark itself but yeah you have the same seating setup um uh, on the passenger side and it's really cool too you've got this little button right back here so that's uh yeah it's it lets you move the seat forward and back from here it's a trip <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool again the same buttons on the passenger side this big old clock right there it's it lets you know it's it's a big presence sign you know lexus nice uh, again the mark levinson sound system it doesn't have the upgraded you know 21 speaker or whatever it is mark levinson but this is really nice it definitely checks in the boxes uh, except i will say this is kind of strange it took a lot of time getting used to i myself i'm 24 i'm not too old but uh it, it even took a little bit for me to get used to it and i love technology or tech like this uh, but once you get used to it i i will say it's okay it's different <laughs> you look for it in every other car you have um, but the, even the navigation is it's pretty, it's big, it's there, it's massive. I'll go ahead and click you back to home. Push button start, it's nice. Uh, the cup holders in here, I mean, there's tons of space out here as well. I mean, this, like you pretty much just open this and to close it, it basically does everything by itself. Awesome. Heated seats are feeling really nice right now, it's getting dark. Um, yeah, just personalize your car, man, you know, make it yours. I, I daily drive this car as much as possible and why not you know it's 25 ish 26 mpg on the highway uh you know cities subpar it's not that good but it, it gives you that power to uh, whenever you want to pass anybody up or uh whenever you pull somewhere with something like this it's definitely a statement in car it's just uh, something that people <laughs> it's not a car for your age it's that mature car you you know you want to have when you're 35 40 45 and you, everything in there is just fit and finish perfect the front it's really nice it's personally my favorite because of those those daytime running lights and then again the lights when you turn left or right they, they go with you pretty cool the sensors that are all up here you know in case you're going to hit something because it is a massive car it truly is full size i mean it's i'd beg to say it's pretty close to the size of you know a mid-size uh suv like the family vehicle that we have but yeah guys i just wanted to show i guess a little appreciation on a car like this this is the second one i've had 2014 i had a 2010 which was totaled but uh i told myself i'd get it back someday and uh, you know i decided to upgrade it a tiny bit i have a car addi addiction i will say that to you guys i've got another car that it's another one of my dailies uh, it's 600 mpg or 600 miles per tank just about and i mean hey, if that license plate doesn't tell you I, mean, I don't know what will yeah really bad car addiction guys i've got a nice twin turbo inside there that's kind of it's a pretty rare car if you if you know what it is man drop a comment below honestly i'd be really surprised and but yes it is the twin turbo version i know it's not a camaro or a ferrari or anything like so it's just pretty rare but I'll keep the video about this it's just if you guys can get your hands on something like this man definitely do you will not regret it and no it is not a grandma grandpa car it's the car that people they see you in it they'd like to have it but you know they see themselves buying some other type of you know charger scat bag or whatever srts i don't know but yeah guys if any questions comments concerns 